Hello, my name is Pam Walker and I'm the Education Development Officer for the East of England Cooperative Society and Conference Organiser on behalf of the five societies who are underpinning the event. They are Mid-Counties, Midlands, Southern Cooperatives, East of England Cooperative, Co-op Group Central and Eastern and Co-op Group United Region. The Interact Conference is being held here at Moulton College in Northampton on the 10th to the 12th of July 2008. The conference aims to look at the interaction between government, businesses, schools, education, young people and the third sector to look at how we can make a difference to people's lives by using techniques and strategies of cooperative learning. And through plenaries, workshops and different events over the two, three days, we're going to explore those themes. Very excited, we've got people from all over the UK here from very many different sectors and aim to have a very cooperative and enjoyable time. We want to, um, but we've given ourselves permission, as Grumpy on there, to rant on something we feel passionate about. Last year, my son went to an Oxford because they were worried about that. The first kids there, and the only game in Oxford was in Cheltenham, Oxford University. moved 40 miles to Cheltenham Ladies College, and Welsh kids went 200 miles to listen to them. Compete, I'll be damned. I like the person. I particularly took to the person that said that uh, competition is madness. Thank you, that person. <laughs> and I also like the person that said to me, cooperation comes first. So thank you for that. <laughs> Connectors and Mavens. It's, it's, networking was mentioned by Mike earlier on, so Pete's going to do a session around that. And it wouldn't be an event for us uh, that's on a cooperative learning if, if we did not have some kind of reflection on the values. Okay? The whole idea of this uh, period up to lunch today is to raise the common understanding of everybody in this room about a range of key matters. Thank you. Where do we want it? Three or four different ways. Okay. Because conflict often can produce solidarity. Yes, it often comes from from conflict. Three minutes to complete these tasks. Three. My name is Norman Rides, I'm the Chief Executive of the Social Enterprise People in Cambridge, which is a support organisation for cooperatives and social enterprises. And my feelings on attending this conference, which is the first one I've been to, is that there's so much energy and passion here. And I do believe that the government is missing a trick, because if you'd only harness this passion and this belief, that we can run things for ourselves instead of looking at the best way for other people to do it for us, then you could create something really special in this country. Hello, I'm Maureen and I run a community cooperative on the outskirts of Bath. And I'm here this weekend and will be sharing the experiences of, of chairing that cooperative and the, and the services and facilities it offers uh, in a workshop during, during this, this conference.
about 90, between 90 and 100 miles. Mike, are you going to storm it? This is a process of conflict, but it's actually very constructive conflict. Um, <clears throat> that's the, the relationship phase of it here is about... Hi, I'm Jane, and I'm here today to represent First Question North. And in the course of the evening, I've met another uh, couple of ladies who've been doing some work for the third sector for the co-op and they've been sending pupils out uh, to work with the fire brigade for 12 weeks and what they've told me has inspired me today because they have seen changes in pupils who were totally disaffected at school and haven't got anything to uh, live for really and uh, these kids have been really encouraged and motivated um, and rewarded by the weeks that spent with the fire service so I'd like to see more of that. In this activity we're using puppets to explore social inclusion by bringing together a group of characters um, who were invented by the participants and they all had their each individual backgrounds, identities and specific needs. Over the weekend um, I've met up with some old friends and met some more new friends who are engaged in trying to promote cooperative values through the education work they do in a whole range of sectors. The conference was absolutely superb, it was great, it was a bit like this boat. It was fant what this kite. It was bright, fantastic. Got everything off in the air, and thank you very much. I had an absolutely fantastic time. I've learned lots of new ideas. This is the most progressive and interesting conference on education I've ever been to. Uh, I've been coming now for several years, and every year I learn something new. Uh, meet new people, pass new ideas on, go back home, talk to teachers, and try and promote the word of cooperation throughout. Hi, we are Clada, Cooperative Learning and Development Associates, we're now a CIC, and uh, we've just facilitated the Interact Conference here at Moulton College. Great success, co-op and education going hand in hand. Okay, it's an exciting conference, lots of activities, lots of looking at the links between cooperative education, uh, cooperative movement, educators, uh, all sorts of stuff going on, some concerns about where it might go, but feel, people feel that there's lots of opportunity. And what has uh, struck me in particular is the inspiration and the commitment that people here have expressed to grasping hold of this concept of the importance of cooperatives and cooperative learning, the techniques and the approaches. And they're now going away with a distinct agenda and action to take this into their own communities and workplaces. It's gone well. It's gone well.